everybody and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, the total campaign, rival here, and Converted Silent Fleet. Here we go. I'm fairly sure you have to be like super super stealthy in this one. Just not get too close to the uh, enemy Cylons and enemy Cylons? And the fact that we're using our own Cylon fleet to kind of sneak through and everything kind of makes you wonder what we're doing, but yeah, we have to get to there and we have to dodge through that lot. It's not fun. So we're going to uh, stack and pack them and rack them because we really don't want um like <laughs> we don't want to leave it like ridiculous <laughs> we don't want a wide thing we want a small one so the pancake actually works really well in this one Group is jumping in three, two, and you can't one fight, you have to just avoid spinner everything. Has landed. Comms are going dark. Good luck out there, Spinner. Thank you, Lieutenant. You will hear from me soon, one way or another. Spinner out. Okay, so there you go. Approach the base without being identified. So you gotta basically just avoid these detected radii. It's not easy. So say we all. We might as well go for navigation, I suppose. Systems have been updated. Yes, Commander. It's just so annoying. Because you can't fire or anything. Lachesis uses my design for its base station. My pre-incarnate must not have purged Avalon's blueprints prior to its death. Why? This will require investigation. I'm not sure. So far, this one's the scary one. This one, I've got a feeling I'll go back that way, but this one is could do a massive wide sweep if it wants to. I think.
we go that way? I don't know. I just don't know. close so say we all we'll just keep going that way for a while careful we've got one in here as well you can barely see it but I can there you go That one seems to be moving away slightly, so we're just going to keep plugging along in this direction. It's really bright, and I'm sorry about that. That nebula is not fun. Right, we might want to check our systems. Yeah, navigation's taking some damage. On it, Commander. On it, Commander. Just keep sneaking. Subsystem is back online. That looks dangerous. Distribution complete. Mm. 
I think we're good. Yes, sir. Yeah, engineering's taking battering again. But that's fine. Let's go. Subsystem is back online. On it, Commander. Yes, sir. May as well do the tech bay while we're here, but you keep working on your engineering. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. It's a bad feeling you're going to come in and see us. I hate that mission for the simple fact that you can't fire. It's st stressful and stealthy, but oh, so annoying. To the point, there's no actual point in like doing the replay because nothing happens. Except my stress level goes through the roof. We do have this one here. It's a strike fleet. I don't really care about it. I see Lachesis didn't kill you on site. Shame. Would have been one less complication to deal with. All right, so what are its terms of negotiation? Lachesis is willing to negotiate a one year ceasefire. The Cylon people will be granted Republic borders of which neither federal nor colony forces can cross. So it wants land to fester in. Embassies, then. A system. Helios Alpha. In its entirety. What the? This is obscene! You demand a third of the colonies? No, Admiral. I'm offering you the chance to keep two thirds of your home. Lachesis will not wait long. For the well being of your people, you must consider their offer. Mm. There is that. Even though Lachesis is supposed to be waiting for Kane's reply, the invasions haven't slowed at all. Fresh Cylon forces have landed on Burgon, Leonis, Geminon, and Pycon. I thought we were trying to negotiate peace terms. They're keeping up pressure to force us into a bad decision. It's exactly what I'd do, too. Kane was recently contacted by Prince Stefan, Duke of Hadrian. The Burgon royal family evacuated Petra's palace a few days ago, ahead of a fresh wave of Cylon ground forces. They're safe at a classified muster point, but Stefan has asked for a colonial fleet escort out of the system. And Kane denied the request, right? We have bigger concerns than some lost royals want their hands held. No, no, she did not. The prince has been our most influential negotiator and ally with the Quorum. Colonial fleet probably wouldn't even be flying without his help. We're to meet the royal transfer at the muster coordinates and escort them safely to Aralon. Now, if anyone has issues with their orders, I suggest you go take it up with Admiral Kane and not the friendly signals officer just trying to do her job. 
Daedalus has been converted by Prince Stefan of Hadrian of the Burgon First Family. Uh, his request was sent directly to Admiral Kane's desk. The First Family's evacuation point is known as the Vast Imperial Graveyard. The graveyard is a collection of decommissioned Imperial War era warships and colonial wreckages that were never scrapped. So 1200 Tylium, 620 requisition points, a Vergon quorum status, and 12 permanent income increase to Vergon. Nice. We'll take the 12 permanent increase. Uh, who do I send? Because I could just use Sharp's Fleet. They're not really built as an escort unit, though. Plus there's this one, which I'm not particularly bothered about, to be honest with you. What I could do is go through our officers, because there'll be definitely some who require a promotion due to the fact I've been doing a lot of side battles in between videos. Someone's got to have got a, a promotion here. Anyone? Possibly? Maybe not? Nope, no one. Wow, I did not see that coming. Alright, well we do have blueprints we can buy. We will pick up the Heracles. Still haven't managed to get this one back from the fleet, but... I just don't know what I'm going to do with it. I really don't. I want to put it into fleets, but because we're doing the lose as few ships as possible, because then we lose as few people as possible, I just don't have a place for it. I really don't. Alright, you know what? We will give this a go, but what I'm going to do is, before we do that, I'm going to save... Oh yeah, 84 fights. Just in Sin and Sacrifice. Just in Sin and Sacrifice, we've got that. Okay. Let's uh, end the turn, see what comes up. A fortified colony is under attack. Uh, it looks like we're doing Operation Sagittarion then. I can't do more than 10%, we'll lose a ship. And I'm refusing to do that on an auto resolve. Alright. Looks like we're doing that. At least you can get some shooting. <clears throat> That'll make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Alright. Let's put you guys there. It's a new fleet, so... Um, we've got a torpedo, because I just I feel better with torpedoes. They fire quicker, I, think, I feel, anyway. Alright, we'll split the Artemises. a bit back here. on top. It's 
It's not great for the design, but it's not bad for what we're using it for. Okay, let's go. Oh, give me coffee. Mm. All right. So say we all. Launching alert, Vipers. Indeed we are. Um, actually, go aggressive. Keep an eye on those, because this is going to be a pain in the neck. Oh, you're slow. So say we are. Every single one of our pilots comes home today. Understand? That one. Firing, awesome. All right. Wow, so many vipers. Um, Yes, sir. Do I launch? I send my vipers out. We don't have the ability to stand against like a mass fleet. Nothing seems to be moving ridiculously slow except for one target. So I think we're just going to get squadron target is confirmed. Straight in there, and start hurting things as quickly as possible. Go. Waiting for the roar of that first salvo. Action station. Set condition one throughout the ship. All right, one. Two. Three. Four. Five, stay on that. Keep that doing that. Uh, black, right side. Squadron target is confirmed. 
So one is finishing that off. Two is working on that. Three is going after that with Raptor support. Four is on there. Ooh. That should be five, actually. Five should not be back there. Select target. Go after that. Keep you guys all nice and tight. Don't want you getting drifted, uh, drifting apart or anything. Take tail on my tail. Take it down. Take it down. Target is four five by nine nine. Nine five. Okay, we're gonna have to drift up. On it, Commander. They're coming over the top of the black cloud, that's not allowed. Launching drones. Get him, get him. Get him, get him. I'm taking him. All right. Now I want you to keep drifting up. Yes, sir. So five's going after the heavy rate squadron. That's fine. Four. Recall. Let's pull four back, get it repaired. One's going there. Two's going there. Three, you're on there as well, but I want you You can paint that target. And fire your missiles there. in the Artemis town now. With good point to... Oh! <laughs> Taking a bit of damage there. Actually, you just keep doing that because we're able to use the Raptor to paint that. This I'm not too bothered about. That I am.
On it, Commander. So say we all. Uh, swing you around that way. Nukes are coming in here, so. Yes, sir. Understood. Go. Oh, it took out its own new case, I've been grabbing it in the back. Wait, uh, paint that for me. Right, you should be able to land this turn. Don't think the thing, so we're just going to recall in squadron. Yeah, can I give you another recall order? Nothing but the rain. Must be this black cloud. Yeah, it must be this flat cloud just stopping it from landing. Get on that. Forget about doing the torpedoes. We've got the torpedoes. Yes, sir. Yep, there they go. Alright, you guys go full defense. On it, oh, you Commander. might actually. When can you fire? You've got a turn. You've got a turn. Hit that one. Let's strip it down. Fairly sure the Vipers did something there then, because we didn't. In fact, uh, everyone go defensive. Let's just patch up.
Nice. That was extremely nice. Okay, so we've got we've only lost four vipers. And I, what I'm saying is, is, if we were able to repair a squadron, then we haven't lost the pilots that have been picked up. You know, just having ejected type sort of thing. It's the idea, anyway. I agree with it if you don't, uh, or if you don't want to, don't. I don't mind. Um, it's just I'm trying to add a, a little bit of realism because there has been some talk about. You know, scaling injuries and things like that with damaged ships and such. And I get what people are saying, but I can't simulate that without some serious maths. And while you do say, oh, yeah, just do this kind of curve thing. It's like, yeah, I still have to do the individual death counts. And it's a lot of work. <laughs> now, if you want to go back through the videos and do all the ships that have just been damaged and kind of go, right, you've lost this many on that one and this many on that one, and this one, then you'll understand just what the mathematics that are involved in doing that it's not fun but this I can control alright if we go to there nothing's lost there nothing there nothing there we know about that one apparently we've lost a viper there that actually does make sense one there nothing there okay so total so far what three can't count that one yet yeah I think there's like three one two no just two plus whatever's lost here which we don't know yet because we haven't done it all right uh, we no, there's only those guys, so I can turn off the flak entirely. I could just recall the Vipers, you know. See if we can grab any more people up. Recalling squadron. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. See if we can repair our fleets. You know, save all our pilots. Why not? If we can do it. Cerberus is a way off. Oh, yeah, that's actually took some damage. Huh. Two lost there. That's it. Apparently. Oh, no, one there. There you go. So that one's almost at full strength. Just leaving it on defense. Cool, actually. 
One. Three. Three. Three vipers lost. Yes, sir. See if we can get any more. That's what Subsystem you repairs are complete. Prepare bayons for cats. They'll be Mark One eyeball any moment. Yes, sir. Only one. One Viper. So awesome. Okay. Focus it down. Let's kill this thing. See that saying we lost seven? I'm not agreeing with that. Because we repaired the, uh, the Vipers up. So I'm putting it down to one. I'm saying we lost one Viper. <laughs> I'm saying we lost one Viper. That's it. That's all we lost. Because we repaired the squadrons back. But losing more people than I have to. <laughs> you might be saying, uh, Rival, <laughs> kind of cheating there. You can say that if you want. Okay. Here okay, we are. Every single one of our pilots come We know they do search and rescue. Understand. We've seen it in the, in the Reed Imagined show. Too badly, I mean, I, I went too low. to the base stars already, okay. I mean, that one, I can only assume it took damage from something fired before or something like that. Maybe the torpedoes we fired right at the beginning. That would make sense. Ah, uh, when we're recalling all of our vipers and raptors. Repairing everything. It's so cool.
That's what you get, frackers. Prepare base for catch. There'll be Mark One eyeball any moment. Actually, they were already on the, the ship. But... Okay, job done, and you rank up. Excellent. We needed that. Leo Michael. Okay, we'll check you. After we get to the end of this turn. Really don't want to get to go through all this. Yeah. I tell you what, we'll go through these two missions in the next video. And we'll keep pushing through the, uh, the story at the same time. Um... Yeah, this looks like a good fleet to go up against. Agent 47 and then Sharp Sleep. We'll do that. Alright, now, uh, there has been some questions about specific ships that have been requested that haven't been put into the fleets. Uh, maybe with names, maybe without, you know, it doesn't make a massive difference. Um, simply, because of the way I'm playing the game, like kind of role playing, keeping the casualty count low, stuff like that. It's just not been possible. I don't need them. Um, because these ships over here are all ships that are not being used. They're basically reserve fleets. Um, I've got an entire patrol fleet built, built right there. That fleet there, it's got two adamants, two berserks, and a manticore in it. And I can't use it because I've got nowhere to put it. All these are all rangers that I'm not using. So, bringing in other ships like the Heracles or uh, the Yanis or anything like that, I would be building ships without a need for them. And the only way I can get rid of these ships is by sending them into fights that they can't win and letting them get destroyed. I can't sell them like I could. I think it's in Resurrection you get the option to start selling your ships if you're not using them. Um, and that's the thing. I, I'm just not using them. So... Other than getting them blown up, there's no way to get rid of them. So there's no point in building anything else. Until I can use these, there's no point. And I'm not using them, so I'm not building anything like that. The Jupiters, different story, because I can actually install them and make the fleet stronger by doing that. But even then, if I'd have been doing this as a like personal playthrough, even if I was using the keep the death toll low type thing, I'd still take fleets, uh, ships out of this and put them into Ragnar and just leave them there and replace this lot. But I don't have that option at the moment. Mainly Tylium. But even if I did, I still wouldn't use them. So I wouldn't be replacing other ships like maybe the Ranger with the Yanis or uh, the Atlas, possibly, with a Heracles or something like that. Adamant with a Heracles. It's just not needed not going to do it. So that's why we haven't got all the ships that have been requested. Just can't do it. I'd be wasting a lot given how this story ends as well. Wink, wink. Um, but anyway, there you go. So that's what we're going to call it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel like we saw, please do consider subscribing. But until then, you lot take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.